it's an anthropological fact that everybody, even people who don't read poems, have poetry in their heads, beginning with a nursery rhyme. When they go to church, most of them know a prayer. And I ask you, what is a prayer? It is not prose, it is poetry. I still wish that I had that succinct one sentence answer to the question, what are you writing about? I've been beating my head all day long on the same six lines, snapped off and whittled to nothing, like the nub of a pencil, chewed up and smoothed over, yellow paint flecking my teeth. He asks, should I come in with that back beat? And whatever those six lines were bothered by skitters off like water in hot grease. She has, a, she has a voice of a poet. That is, for me, absolutely clear. And the sun comes up. I had heard Ensensberger read at Princeton and had just been so engaged by his work and the person that he was. It was kind of miraculous that I might have the opportunity to get to know him. To find a tone of voice which is fresh is not easy. It's wonderful if you detect this sort of potential in somebody. Ex Norwegian, I like that very much. Because there is some lightness in, right. in this. It lifts you as a reader. And this type of thing is, is uh, for me, very seductive. She has a prose project, but it's, of course, a different kettle of fish entirely. And so we try to see where are the problems, where's the energy in it. The first thing that I've been wanting to write about my family for a long time, and I have started and stopped and started and stopped over and over again. This mentoring relationship has really kind of been the nudge that says, yes, you do want to do that, and you can, and it's safe, and here's someone who's willing to look at it and to give you input as an artist. You could make it all in her voice. Have you thought about that? That's what I, yeah, I envision like a very discreet set of concerns. Everybody has some kind of uh, luggage, historical thing on their shoulders. It's also your capital, your, your capital as a writer, that you have something to offer. You're opening yourself up to the chaotic and important energy that you possess and you're kind of going to, to battle with it in a way. And then, you know, because you are concerned with language and logic and form, you're also trying to do the dance to keep it all kind of afloat at the same time. The working dynamic between us, it's been about a really intense kind of focus that is accompanied by a really joyful kind of ease. Actually, just the way that the project is conceived, I think is pretty brilliant. The idea that we'll give you this person that you can develop a friendship with and learn from and be in one another's lives. It's a game, of course, and it's not a teacher-pupil relationship, not at all. It's not a hierarchical thing. It's a conversation. Real gift is a poet. Wonderful. There's even a certain elegance to it. It's probably going to stand out in my mind as this bridge that I've crossed to get to a bigger sense of myself as a, as a writer.